Hey guys, just letting you know that I am live on Twitch. As you are watching this video right now, I am live over at twitch.tv for slash shake. If you've never been to my live stream, then change that today. Come over to the stream and say hello. I would love to see you. Right, my friends, if you haven't figured it out by now, we are putting the fire in Fire Fright. That's right. Today's video is an absolute certified banger. And as always, you guys know what to do when it's a certified banger. Bang that like button, bang that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and prepare yourselves because my friends, this is just so damn good. Now, of course, we are using the Fire Fright, but it's not my usual suggested role of Threat Detector and Adagio, no. We're going with well-rounded anosmosis using your grenade will turn the serpent into the same subclass as the one that you're using so it becomes solar and it gets a bump to its handling its stability and its range well-rounded anosmosis both activate on using your grenade so the synergy there is just absolutely insane of course once it becomes solar we then use path of burning steps and we get the damage buff from firewalker that is where the synergy comes in and the grenade that we're using is the healing grenade we heal ourselves and we buff ourselves my friends You use that healing grenade and boom, now I'm well-rounded. Now I've got Firewalker. Now my Fire Fright is officially solar. It's bit, this is the Fire Fright's true form, isn't it, right? It's literally got the word fire in the weapon's name. Camouflage, any color, any environment. I come out a legend and a king. Put me in the jungle, I'll be a ruler. Put me in space, I'd own the place. Only it's a kinetic. However, it's not a kinetic anymore. As you can see, it is now a solar weapon. We have a triple solar loadout using our solar fusion rifle and we are using of course everybody's favorite fish and of course we're not just using the fish we're also using the big giant hammer that's right usopp hammer coming at you hard mate look at this monstrous beast of a subclass honestly playing more and more solar titan these days i'm enjoying it because you know this is only possible hold on a second we've got a little peekaboo moment who who's gonna blink first go ahead make my day Ooh, it was him. It was him and now he's missing the head. But as you can see, it is just disgusting. It's so... The synergy is off the charts. Ooh, ooh, I think you need to watch where you're going, lad. Oof, I'm down here. And now you're in the respawn screen. That'll happen though, my friends. As you can see now, we've got well-rounded going. We've got firewalker going. Enhanced well-rounded gives you full stacks for popping your super. You can go full stacks. That fish just stacked up in his face. I am Jose Mourinho. So that'll happen sometimes. Absolutely disgusting and oh, i'll stay or strig i already knew i was going to trade before it begun oh, what the absolutely nasty but yeah well-rounded is giving you plus 10 stability it's giving you plus 10 range it's giving you plus 10 handling enhanced osmosis also gives you plus 5 handling as well so yeah it's just really really nice like a bit of fish and chips it's just a really cool sort of scenario where you use the grenade and you're healing yourself you're buffing all the stats on your weapon and you are now opening up the potential to proc Firewalker, which is going to make this thing hit 36 to the head. It turns the time to kill into just illegal territories, basically. It really, really is. Well-rounded is just going to help the weapon in general as well. You'll really notice that it. it does feel pretty damn great. You don't need to go for the enhanced version of the perk. Though that being said, I'm pretty sure they're getting rid of all the materials that you need to craft. So you might as well spend them if you have them. There's no reason to hold on to them anymore. And as you can see, we're healing ourselves. And now the fire fright is on fire. We are on fire right now. We've got a well-rounded active fire fright is just kicking in. It's just a fantastic gun. It's obviously slightly different to my regular recommendation on this gun. I did a video on it about two weeks ago. My normal role with threat detector and adagio. And that's definitely better in, in general play. But if you want to do something special, then this is the way to go. Yes, there's some setup involved. Yes, it's not straightforward. But yes, it is also a ton of fun smashing that big hammer by the way my friends i need you to smash that like button as hard as i am smashing this hammer my friends because we are absolutely smashing it mate we're gonna go out there and we're gonna crack some skulls 
Oh yes, indeed. Absolutely brilliant. And now we are also going to give you the worm. Enjoy the worm, my friends. Enjoy the worm. It's just brilliant, honestly. It's just such a cool, a cool little setup. We did the same thing, obviously not so long ago, but with the Lodbrock. And obviously there's some differences, okay? Because the Lodbrock is a high impact auto rifle, so it shoots much slower. It's less stable. It's just probably a little bit harder to use in general than a precision frame AR. And then on top of that, we had kill clip on the Lodbrock. So it kind of made the kill chaining a little easier. Here, we don't have any additional damage buffs apart from the Firewalker. That being said, we have our fusion rifle and we have our sword, our sword, our flying fish, I mean, and they will also help us to prop Firewalker. Restoration is going to be kicking in when we use our grenade. So the survivability is pretty high, especially when you combine it with the shoulder charge. We've got our barricade. Yeah, this is a brilliant way to play. It's niche, it's off meta, but it's very effective when it gets going. Check this out. He had heavy there, but with Firewalker active. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. This weapon basically is a heavy machine gun and it spits fire and it's called Fire Fright. What more do you need to know? What more do you need to know? Honestly, on this play session, normally I'm usually disappointed when I pop Burning Mall, but I had some good moments with it here. So, you know, you can't always complain. And also, I feel no shame getting fusion rifle kills when people are spraying SMGs at me. It feels kind of good, to be honest. I get two fusion kills. I use my grenade. Now I've got well-rounded. Now I've got Firewalker. And this guy doesn't even realize how badly he's about to get destroyed. I feel like people don't take auto rifles very seriously. But it's just funny because when I have Firewalker active and I'm rolling up on you, you should be taking it seriously because it will just delete your shit. Now you see now. As you can see, forget your Ricolos SMG, forget it, mate. Forget that meta weapon. Yeah, that's right. This gun is coming at you like an absolute fire truck, my friend. The fire fright, it feels so right to set it on fire and become solar. This is the true form of the fire fright, my friends. Like I said, the fire is in the name. The clue is in the name, isn't it? It is just absolutely beautiful, my friends. And this is a certified banger setup. I feel like the Lodbrock version might be better in some ways, but I don't know, man. This is literally called Fire Fright. So for that alone, it wins. The gun just looks like a just a demonic gun. Look at it. It's just it's just absolutely beastly. Our grenade launcher to the butt. It's just fantastic. It really, really is. I'm rapidly falling in love with Fire Fright and this setup. I really am. I starting to understand what the point is now all along. You see what I did there? You did, and don't forget to smash that like button, my friends. We're going full Red Hawk on some SOBs right now. That's right. We couldn't go a whole video without making a One Piece reference now, could we? That would just be weird. Look at this guy siding in. Don't think so, pal. Well-rounded, ready. Now we've got Firewalker ready. We've got Shotgun Andy charging around the corner. He should have looked up. And we are ready for him. Is he going to come back to our left? Are we going to do this again, are we? Are we going to do this again? Let me reposition on you. My friend, you cannot expect... Oh, god damn it, of SMG. A mortal enemy. And here we go. The big hammer is out. One last time. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Smash that like button like I smashed that guy's head off with my hammer. My friends, I am live on Twitch right now as well. Like I said at the start of the video, I would love it if you would come over to the stream. I would love it. Twitch.tv forward slash shake. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then what are you waiting for? Join us on the road to 200k and subscribe today, my friends. Much love. Peace out.